The library is near the town square. You're lucky. The library seems to be open. Dorothy, are you there? I'm sorry to bother, but this woman needs to use a computer. Peter? Of course, come on in. I couldn't sleep anyway. I'll leave you now. Don't get into any trouble, all right? And uh, good luck with your investigation. All right, Peter. Thanks for your help. See you next time. Welcome. Please feel free to look around. When you finish, come upstairs. I'll make you some hot tea. Thank you, but I don't want to bother. I'll just do my stuff and leave. Nonsense. I rarely have the chance to meet people from out of town. Don't make me wait too long. Sounds familiar. It... could it really be the nightmare? Sounds familiar. It... could it really be the nightmare? Definitely a woman, but none of the frames show her face. I saw a local newspaper's microfilm archive here somewhere. Maybe I should check them. So what brings you to our little town? I'm investigating the mental breakdown of Sandra Perkins. What can you tell me about her? Not much, I'm afraid. My memory has been failing lately. <sighs> oh! Please, sit down. I'll make tea, if you don't mind. Oh, thank you. Being old is so embarrassing sometimes. Bring the tea set from the cupboard, please. 
It's an authentic Chinese porcelain for special occasions. I didn't always live in the drowsy valley, you know? I used to be a journalist for a big-time magazine in the capital. But after retiring, I wanted a break from the noise of the big city, and I moved here. Much is going on here, huh? And what about that fire at the tower? Well, as I said, I don't remember much. Sometimes I feel like some vile entity blocks my memories.
tower. Hmm. There is no mention about Alan's death. Why? Was it covered up? It looks like Dorothy was the editor-in-chief of the newspaper back then. I should ask her some questions. Please, take a look at this article in focus. It's very important. What happened then, after the fire? Huh. I remember I was a chief editor back then. But after that accident, I just quit. But why? Maybe I could help? I have some special abilities that allow me to explore the human subconscious. And maybe... I'll be able to expel this thing that's blocking your memories. Really? You some kind of hypnotist? I used to love being hypnotized. All right, let's try. Well, yes, we can call it hypnosis. First, I want you to relax, okay? And we'll turn off the radio. librarian's memory damage. What was it looking for? The memory is faded. Maybe I can restore it. <laughs> 